Bonjour. And now you have heard all the French I know. <laughs> so you will have to forgive me if I speak in English. And I have no slides or anything, but I do have a friend with me today. This is the official mascot of WWW 2016. And uh, he will be welcoming everyone tomorrow. Um, now, there's a, there's a fact that I'll share with you that I haven't yet shared with many people. He, he's not a Canadian moose. He, he's actually from the Adirondacks. And, and I thought it was important to mention that today, partly because the conference is sponsored both by New York State and Montreal, although Montreal has taken it, but mainly because open data and open knowledge are international. And it's very exciting to see what has happened in this field over the past for years. I was lucky enough to be involved in the creation of uh, uh, data.gov in the US, uh, the first of the really large government um, open data sites. I then helped, I then interacted with colleagues at uh, data.gov.uk. Uh, I'm very fond of the Canadian open data, mostly the geo data, because at one point we were collecting how many open data sets we could find from around the world. And the Canadian data put us over a million data sets. So this was three years ago now. So the number of data sets out there went from the first 50 that were released by an international government, by a major government organization, to literally millions. And then cities such as Montreal, uh, countries such as Canada. It's really been very exciting to see. The open government partnership now is up to, um, I think last time I looked it was almost 60 countries and I think it's still growing, where a key part of that is open, open data. So I'm very fond and very, um, I don't know what word to say, uh, attached to open data. And so it, it's really a great privilege to have you folks here today to represent one of the themes of this conference. So if you've looked at the, um, the homepage of the conference, you'll see that the theme of the conference this year is ouvert which is open, ubiquitous, and versatile, and then you've got to sort of play around with the letters a little bit, but education, government, and health. And so again, open government is really a, a critical piece of what we think the web has made possible. We think it's wonderful that so much can happen in terms of people reusing data. I couldn't understand the last talk, but I can understand the pictures, and the word semantic web really gets me excited. But I have no idea what you said about it, but. <laughs> so again, I just wanted to take, you know, I was just given a couple minutes to welcome you on behalf of the conference. I just want to say the importance again of what I think you all do and how important it is that you're represented here at the conference on the web. And I'll just stop there and thank you. <laughs>